tell you what, let's make a happy little sky. And for that, I'm going to go right into a touch of phthalo blue. Just a little bit, just pull a little bit of the color out and then tap the bristle, bristles firmly into the color. This will assure a nice even distribution of paint all the way through the bristles. Wipe it off and we're in business. Let's build, maybe we back in here there's just a small little mountain that lives. So let's take a touch of Prussian blue, a little bit of uh, midnight black. We're going to get a little touch of a lizard crimson. So we get blue, black, lizard crimson, maybe even a little Van Dyke brown. What the heck? What the heck? Just drop it in. Dark colors. Okay, pull the paint out as flat as you can get it. Just really mash down hard. Then take your knife and cut across. See there? Get that little roll of paint. This knife has a straight edge on it. And by having a straight edge, it's very easy to load it. Let's go on up here. Okay. And then maybe, maybe our little mountain. Yeah, I gotta make a big decision here. Maybe he lives right here. Just floats around in the clouds. Look at the, right there, look at the depth that's in that already. And it's caused only because of all of these various planes in your painting. And that's, that's what'll, <laughs> that's what'll make a happy bug. Now then, let's create some reflections right here. Let's take a two inch brush, decide where you want reflections to be, grab and pull straight down. Because these trees are short, just have short reflections here as you work outward. Let them get a little longer. Trees are a little taller, reflections a little longer. This old tree, maybe he goes almost all the way to the top of the canvas. Same way. This will give you some practice using a big brush. Making some beautiful little evergreens. This might be my favorite brush to do this with. It's so much fun. Some, so often we avoid this brush because it's big, but it'll do some of the most beautiful little delicate things just you're pushing downward with the corner of the brush just the corner just the corner as you work down the tree you push harder and harder so you're actually using more of the brush and don't just hit it random look at it get a, get a feel for it one of the best things you can do is is take some time and, and go out in your yard or go out in the woods and and study trees make friends with a tree talk to him then you'll get to understand him but do one bush at a time one bush at a time. Just one at a time. Here's one. See that little rascal? If your paint won't flow, then it's probably not thin enough. Add a little more paint thinner to it. Maybe in here it lives a little stick or twig. One thing I'd like to mention, if you've enjoyed painting along with me on this instructional videotape, drop me a line. 